Hello, Blood Bowl fans. I'm here with a Champ Ladder match. <clears throat> I've let Champ Ladder take a back seat a little bit so far because uh, I've been trying to get through the coaches in the ICBBL. And to be honest, I've never been too worried about getting anywhere with this team anyway. So I may just finish at 15 or 20 matches with this team regardless. Though I'll try and get a few more in before the season ends at least because this team is pretty fun to play. So the pet collection are back, and right now we are up against Norse. We're at my stadium, so we both get a free bribe. And we're facing the Valhallen Wolves. My team are singing Stumble all the way. Like is not dancing because he doesn't like the music. And I did keep Igor, though he is going to spend most of the game on the, on the bench because I don't consider him part of the team. And the Norse are singing, I'm too sexy for my shirt. And pretty standard Norse setup. One runner, I don't think there was a thrower, two ulf runners, and the Yeti. This was a team that had, I think, about four games under its belt, but that it hasn't managed to get a level up yet, so he's been quite unlucky in his SPP gains so far. Coin flip goes the way of me, and I choose to receive with my pet collection. And with Norse, to be honest, I'm quite happy to take a blocking war, because my armor value outdoes their armor value, so I want to base the team as much as I possibly can. And of course, I want to finally, finally, finally get a second trophy. And this is game 11 now, and I've still only had the one. Laika has kickoff return, so he moves towards the ball. And quick snap means he can move one step closer. Normally I would put the pieces on the edge of course, but against Norse with their four frenzy pieces, standing on the edge is just suicide. Even standing this close to the edge is pretty suicidal, to be honest. So I use the quick snap to make a kind of step towards the Norse. And I start off with a skull, and it re-rolls into a skull. Fantastic start. Turn two. Could have moved some pieces first, but actually I'm glad I didn't, because it means he's going to spread out the team, which is something I like to see quite often. And he goes quickly for his blitz as well. There's a good block against the zombie. And then a skull. And a reroll. Not a skull this time. His reroll is better than mine. And he has left these two pieces exposed, so I'm hoping to pick off at least one of these next turn. Though, to be honest, my main targets are the Berserkers. And we've already got a Foul, which is a nice start for the Norse. And the Foul is good. That's a smash knee and niggle on Frankenstein. Let's hope he can recover from that. Yeah, he does. Frankenstein will be back. And a block with the Yeti, just a push. And a power. Bad news for my guard zombie. That is fine. Let's pick up the few pieces we have and let's try and move the ball. That's going to be this turn's mission. So we're going to take a block on a Norse with monster first. It's a good one. It's a KO. It's a very good one. That's going to give me the field advantage a little bit. No, it's not. That's going to equal out the field, actually, when I think about it. Like it picks up the ball successfully. And fails at GFI. We roll. And that's two snake eyes, two turns. That's unfortunate. Not devastating yet, though. He's still got to pick up the ball and move it, so I'm not too worried about that at this time point in time, and I still have a piece or two that are free. Just one piece that's free, actually. Well, fair enough. 
takes a two down and rerolls into a skull. That gives me a chance to counterattack, and I also have a zombie that can come in support this zombie here without any penalty for movement. I think I have to GFI to get that though. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. I was right. So, I'm taking a block. I get a push. And I get a two down again. Though, good enough with a block piece. I'm going to leave the ball where it is for now. It's not essential to get it. Though, it's definitely not very secure at the same time, so I do want to fix that next turn for certain. I can now send this zombie in as a little bit more support on the ball, though I'm going to take the block on the Elf Warrener instead. Hoping to do some damage to kind of give me an advantage in numbers. Monster gets a skull. Reroll. Have to keep rerolling this, this game. It's three turns, three rerolls. They're all gone. And the push isn't really good enough, but it does free up the zombie to come around and fail the GSI. So, a chance for the Norse here. They can get the wolf off the ball, and they can potentially pick the ball up. They have plenty of pieces to do so, if they could just free up a couple. That's a good start. Unnecessary block, you could argue, but it's good enough. And securing the ball, not wanting to pick it up just yet. Fair enough. Pow on monster, that's bad news. Especially with Claw, don't really want Claw hitting monster too many times. Because Claw can be devastating. And he does get a punch on Lyca, which he throws onto the ball. And the ball scatters well for me, actually. Though, he does have pieces that can clean up still. But like me, he decides to leave the ball alone. Fair enough, and he takes another skull. We're both out of rerolls. We haven't been very lucky with our rolling so far this game, neither of us. Alright, let's see if I can get the ball out of this tight spot. It's an important roll now. I'm gonna need a few pieces to do so. So I start off by freeing the zombie, who comes to stand on the Norse lineman and on the ball at the same time. Monster isn't going anywhere, he's stuck where he is. Then I'm going to try and get the other Norse piece out of the way. Push isn't really good enough, but it will have to do for now, and I decide to take the second block as this better than the dodge, but the return block is not better than the dodge. At least it's a push. Like is left very much on his own. So I try the dodge anyway, which I should have done in the first place, really, when I look back at this. Because that dodge was awful. And... That was two down, but that's good enough for Norse, and most pieces have block, of course. is probably going to pick up the ball this turn, unless the two down happens. That's very good for me. That's very good indeed. I have enough pieces to secure the ball, but I'm going to use a zombie as a ball carry here, because Lyke is in a dangerous position. And he's going to stay there, but lock up those two pieces at the same time. Zombie pickup fails, and the ball scatters into a mosh pit. With the Yeti down now, I've got one more turn to clean it up. That's a good punch on Lyca. Lyca is KO'd. That's two of my positionals out. And Ulf fights a piece off the ball, leading into a one die. Half frenzy trap, but it's good enough. And he's going to try and surf my zombie with the berserker, but the straight down isn't going to help him. I like the dodge blitz here. I like it a lot, actually. 
and he's lucky enough that he doesn't suffer from Frenzy Trap. Runner can pick up the ball now, quite easily, and just keep it safe. And he does just that, and he even dodges out. I do have a piece that can punch him though. And now I have two pieces that can punch him, as we've rolled another skull. How have the dice been the last couple of drives? They've been pretty even, actually. I remember looking at it in the game at the very start, and there was basically all ones and twos. There was nothing else, but here it's been fine. All right. Monster takes the blitz. It's a push. Not good enough. Gonna have to punch him again with one of the zombies. It's a power. That is good enough. We can finally pick up the ball. Potentially. This is my dirty player piece. I would ideally want him to be fouling, but he's going to go for the ball instead, because securing the ball is more important at this point. But first we're going to finish blocking these few pieces, uh, so we can get one more zombie out as well. Oh, I'm actually moving the dirty player into a position where he can score, and zombie... I'm not sure who is going to do the pickup. He succeeds. Pointless zombie. Fails the pass, but that does secure the ball. I'm also going to really struggle to get to that. And I have two turns to pick up and finish off the score. He does finish off the surf on my pointless zombie, and pointless zombie gets a KO from the surf. He may well be back though. And Ulf Verena runs into the fray, trying to do some damage here. And another skull. Lots of skulls this game. Lots of painful skulls. That gives me a chance at the bull, though I am going to punch the Ulf and the runner first, hoping to do damage to at least one of them. Though armor breaks have not been on my side this match. Well, armor breaks have, sorry, but injuries haven't. All the armor breaks have been light armor breaks. Here we go, pick up. No. That makes the score impossible, I believe. And that's actually the helper, it's not my dirty piece, my mistake. No, it is my dirty piece. Uh, and the touchline is too far away now. Can't score anymore. Had to, had to succeed in that pickup there. On the plus side, he probably can't score either. Uh, now he definitely can't, I think. Oh no, this, this guy can pick up the ball. He could pass to the lineman. That's an option, though it's a very outside chance. Though I wish him luck. Yet he says no. Yet he says good night. But it's just a stun. He has one more turn to score. He can still do it. Still trying to do damage to these two pieces, the old Ferriner and the runner. And I want one of them out for the next half. That's the ideal here. And I'll even take a foul to make it so. Just a stun, not good enough. And one die push against the elf. And one die push against Lyman. That's a good one. Stopping his scoring chance with a stun. And take a half die. Just because. And that's it for my turn. His mission seems to be the same. Try and knock out at least one piece, so one of us are going into the match one player up, but I have a bench, don't forget, so it's not gonna be me who's gonna be down if he only gets the one injury. 
And he goes for the pickup. No. That's half time. That was a half of ones and skulls mostly. Though we had some successful plays too. Let's see if we can capitalize on his bad luck and turn around my own bad luck in the second half. I'm sure the Norse are thinking the exact same thing. One of my knockouts returns, so I'm up to 11 again, and his two knockouts stay out, so he's down to 9. So my mission here is going to be a slow retrieval of the ball, knocking out as many Norse pieces as I can, potentially and hopefully killing at least one. Though the ball is going Norse's way. And he does load the line, which I think is there. The blitz, or even a riot would do. Or perfect defense would have been the last choice, but cheering fans is not good enough. But that is a fantastic kick. going to take him a while to get the ball back up the pitch. Ulf Ferriner is left out on his lonesome, and Berserkers try to move into a blitzing position on Frankenstein. Fair call, but block is not good enough. And yet he however has a good time with his claw. Don't think he needed claw actually. And both Ulverinas are left a little bit exposed here. Though both of them pulled off... No, one pulled off his stun. The other one is left on his own. And let's go pick up the ball. No, reroll? No. Good choice. That gives me a chance to do a bit of damage. Hopefully we'll actually get a couple of knockouts here. I'm actually going to go for a blitz against the blitzer as well, because he's in perfect blitzing position. So, Lyca's going to be working on that in a moment. And here he goes. That's not good enough. Reroll into a pow. Ah well. That's a pretty good smack. I'll take that all day long. And last berserker is pushed out of the way into blitzing position for next turn, surfing position for next turn. One die block on the elf, with a guard piece. Slightly less risky, but still risky. And a foul on the elf. I decided it was worth the risk, though looking back at it, I don't think it was really. And we take a two down. That leads to an elf KO. Fantastic. That's going to make Norse's job very difficult. They're now down to 8 men against my 11. He's going to do his best to return attack, and the wild animal hurts, but he rerolls it. That's. That's a debatable reroll, but um, I like it personally. I think it was quite a smart reroll because he needed that to come off, really. And it puts him into a much better position for slowing my defense down. He's going to take the wing that is overloaded with zombies, which is an interesting choice, but uh, he doesn't have many options, to be fair. His options are take a risk or do nothing, so. I don't blame him for trying at least one side. I'm going to lock this piece up, and I should probably take a blitz here. So if I don't, I made a mistake here. So I should I should be blitzing this piece. Though I don't really have the piece to do it, to be fair. So instead, I'm just going to screen off. And if he attempts the pass, uh, all the more power to him. I will respect him immensely for attempting the pass. Though, I have a good chance of intercepting it here. 
if it even gets through the gap. We're going to take some blocks against the pieces on the other flank instead, stunning the Berserker, which is a good start, and sending up a block against the Yeti, which is arguably unnecessary, but I'm going to take it. The longer the Yeti stays down and a stun helps, the better for me. And we'll take a foul on the pieces in the middle, the other elf. And he's KO2. Nice. Perfect foul. Now that makes Norse's job very difficult. He's going to try and break his way through the middle here, which is fair. And the power is definitely good enough to put down my ex wood elf. And he's going to run down with the runner, and he should really be passing here. And he will. That's a fail. That's a reroll. His last reroll. And that's inaccurate. That's unfortunate inaccurate. Scatter would have been very good for him there. Could have been very good for him there. But it gives me peace to count. It gives me space to counterattack. And counterattack, I shall. I'm going to load up this edge so he can't get away, and I'm going to lock off this piece and hopefully blitz this piece this time. I guess with... Uh, not Rigor. It'll have to be with Quintus. Yeah, I miscalculated that. I'm going to have to GFI to pull off the blitz, but I'm going to take it, surely. And probably attempt to pick up with the wolf. Or with the ghoul. Not good enough, reroll, that's much better. Hoping for at least a stun. And I get one. Perfect. Now Ghoul and Wolf can come to secure the ball. And I'll move Wolf back into position if he succeeds. And get the ball eventually to Frankenstein. Frankenstein is my scoring piece this drive, I believe. Wolf does pick up the ball, and he's going to stay there for this turn at least, because he's safe there. He gets one successful two dice, everything else is going to be a one dice or a blitz into danger, so I don't think he's taking any more blocks on this side. Though he is going to bring a berserker in support, which is fair. Then take a shot against the zombie, which is another two down, leading to a stunned zombie, but that doesn't hurt me. That doesn't hurt me at all, actually. May to actually take some blocks before I try to move the ball here. With the rerolls, not overly risky. Push is good enough. That puts Monster right in the middle of the free. They're not going anywhere now. And second piece goes down. May even be able to surf a piece here. I'll certainly try. I may even take a foul after I've taken the pass. Yep, peace is served. Bye bye, Lyman. Making the numbers favor me even more. And Lyca is going to attempt to pass here. No, nope, we're going to GFI and handoff. Slightly better odds, slightly less SPP. And Frankenstein is going to run into safety. That's safe enough, yet he can't get there. Ghoul comes in to support with a foul. And the helper is the piece that's left, so of course I'm fouling. It is his job. Let's get a good one. Come on, death! Nope, just a stun. At least no send-off still, though. Yeti actually comes to lock off these two pieces. That's not really going to hurt me too much. Frankenstein can get well out of the way next turn. And Leo the Old is stunned. And the last Berserker comes in to support and take a half die blitz. Good enough. On my guard piece. And Runner tries to dodge out, which is fair, I think. It's the only option he really has. But it fails. So, another foul is coming here. But first things first, let's move Frankenstein. First things first, let's move Frankenstein. Okay, we're moving the zombie. That's fine. 
and stunning up the zombie. Now I'm leaving Frankenstein. Nope. Okay, we didn't do anything stupid before we moved Frankenstein. Good. Over on the far end, putting down these pieces to make the foul easier. Probably blitz out and move back in. That looks like the option. That's not good enough. Not sure I needed to reroll, but Frankenstein is safe, so may as well take the reroll. And yeah. And helper goes for foul number two on this down piece. Dead. And just is done. Making it harder for the runner to get out. I'm fouling more as a psychological warfare here. And that was a skull on the wolf. I'm fouling more as psychological warfare here. I don't want this runner to stand up. That's basically the overall goal. I want to make it so, well, either he does take risks, though the two skulls is enough, Claw does things, and Zombie is stunned. To the point though, I want him to commit too many pieces to this area to make it harder for me to foul, or I want him to try and do lots of things that he really doesn't have to do. I have a chance at a blitz, and I'm going to take it. That's not good enough. We will. I took a long time debating over that reroll, but I did decide, well, Frankenstein is well and truly safe, and I can thin the herd even further here, so I'm going to try my best to do so. Lock off the one piece that's standing. Stall for one more turn. Don't feel the need to stall for two. I'd actually like to take some blocks against the pieces, though I will foul, of course. And... <laughs> just a stun! Bird's done in a row. And finally have to use the bribe. And we'll take a blitz with Igor, I guess, because Igor is the most important piece to level. Though we're gonna make it as good a locked up piece as possible in case Igor fails. Nope, Igor's just moving into position and we don't even bother blocking that piece. That's fair. At this point, he basically just gave up, so I take my block, which is good, and then just take the score. Could have just ended the turn and ended the game with the score, but I felt like giving him a chance to come back and give me a chance to take a little bit more SPP with some blocking, hopefully. Because even if most of the pieces came back, he's still likely to be down players, and he is still down players. He's down by a lot of players. He's down to seven. Eight, sorry. Can't count. Now let's kick to the runner. Blitz is nice. Blitz is very nice. That stops him from scoring for certain. I don't know why, but I moved a piece under the ball. It's a completely pointless move. I was um, under the impression, actually, that if he fumbles it, then he doesn't get a touchback. But it doesn't work like that, of course. So, that was silly on my end. And White comes and takes the blitz. It's good. It's very good. It's just a stun, though. Lots of bad injury rolls. Yeah, not such a big deal. And again, thinking that that could lead to a fumble, I realized that the white can't stand there, but it doesn't work like that. He puts the ball on the line. Doesn't really matter where the ball is, to be honest. Doesn't make much of a difference. And yet he pushes. And yet he's successful. And yet he armor breaks into a stun. And a skull. Yeah, he hasn't been lucky with his skulls, that's for certain. He started off fairly even, but it's gone more his way, getting all these skulls now. For certain. And let's knock down the ball for fun. We can even take a vanity pass if possible. Oh! Finally! We have a good armor break, and it's a death, but he rerolls it back into a no casualty. Still no trophy yet. 
I've got a few more pieces to punch in order to try and get one though. Push isn't good enough. And block is fine actually. Can survive that. How on the berserker? It's good for putting him down, but not good for injuring him. And pow on the last lineman. Also good. Should be taking a foul here. That should be part of the end game plan here, but I go for the ball first and only as I fail the pickup. That's the end of the game. 1 0. It's a good win for the pet collection. That puts us to 5 1 5. And my dirty player gets man of the match leaving him one point away from level 3. And the Norse finally get a level up with their MVP on alignment who already had 5 SPP. Uh, I had 5 and 5. 5 on the zombie and 5 on Frankenstein himself. And 5 SPP for the Norse, that's all. No damage this game and no successful passes. So, uh, just having, I'll just leave the statistics up here, you can have a look for yourself. I'm not going to go through them. Alright, 20 armor breaks to 10 armor breaks, that's armor value 8 to armor value 7 for you, though they were all fairly solid armor breaks, I mean, nothing happened, nothing happened really against the Norse, he was quite, I was unlucky in my injury rolls. Alright, that's game number 11, I'll try and get a couple more in before the end, but that's all I'm going to play for now. Thanks for watching, next up we have a wood war against one of our members in ICBBL and I will be introducing bronze, silver and gold, maybe steel as well, either today or tomorrow too. Thanks for watching, catch you again soon. Bye bye.